Greetings, Elder Blacklight here. Your motivator. The Supreme Conscious Counselor of the Elders. I don't want your money. I don't even want want your mind. I just want a little bit of your of your time. I just want you to think about some things, you know, that if you think about them, they'll begin to make sense to you. And I base my, all, all my thoughts on the scriptures, the supreme wisdom. And that's including the Quran and the Bible and the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Supreme Wisdom. I'm 72 years old. Of course, y'all know this by now. The invisible war on the black man and woman, the reason why it's invisible, why I call it invisible, because it don't seem like we're in a war. You know, the effects of it, it don't seem like we're in a war because we're not running and dodging, taking shelter, you know, dodging bullets, uh, by the Caucasian. Because he make us. Uh, shoot at ourselves. Every now and then. It might be a brother brave enough. Or crazy enough. To shoot at. A, a Caucasian. Police or. Military man or whatever. But. We kill ourselves because shoot at ourselves and kill ourselves because it's so easy and we we don't have to pay no consequence you know so we had these turf wars and kill ourselves but we don't look at them as wars we look at them as dope boys or thugs trying to Eliminate one another. But we're in a psychological war. And this war right here is also considered a spiritual war. And The way we think about things is old school. The way we act is old school. So even the new school brothers are doing, ain't doing nothing different. It, it's been done before. Only difference is you got YouTube now. You got this modern technology to speed the game up. Plus, you can you got a, a wider and broader audience. But the man who got had the the right strategy 
his strategy is not being implemented nowadays, and that was the Honorable, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He had uh, a multi-million dollar operation going. He had farms to grow healthy foods. He had uh, banks to circulate that money in the community at least 10 times. Stores, grocery stores, clothing. They made their own clothes. And, uh, he had, uh, they had cleaners, restaurants. So, I ain't giving none of these brothers that say they follow the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you know, no, you know, no too much uh, praise, or you would have picked up where he left off at, where Wallace D. Uh, left off. That's been 40 years ago. Farrakhan attempted some farms. He might have one or something like that. But I don't see the trucks to deliver the produce. I don't see the stores. I don't see the banks. He also had airplanes. I don't even see the planes. <laughs> There's no attempt to recapture that. But most of all, there was a hospital, a black hospital, on the drawing board. And we really need that, especially nowadays, because they are selling body parts, they are experimenting on our melanin. They are experimenting on our blood, extracting whatever we got in our blood, selling it for big money. <laughs> We're going to their hospitals and they don't practice holistic healing, just drugs. So a lot of us come back hooked off of pain pills and different type drugs they got now. So what's the what's the remedy? Since the brothers ain't doing it, you don't see the FOI doing it. They just a lot of lip service teaching to teaching, so that's cool. But you're still collecting money, and you ain't doing what Elijah did when he collected money. He got farms, stores, apartment buildings, you name it. He was on the same level as these uh, Arabs was in 75, the Arabs would come and took over Dearborn. Blacks in Detroit, they just occupying, but they don't run nothing. They done lost all the businesses that they had. Almost all of them. They got a few here and there. So, the war really hit us so hard we just casualties now casualties of war but don't give up the fight you know uh, I just wanna give you this kind of strategy right here just hold on to what you got turn the ghetto into a paradise or oasis with sweat, sweat equity. 
We may not have the money, but we got the the elbow grease to balance it out. But we need unity. And here in Detroit, remember, we in the power city because we got the freshest water in the whole on the whole planet. Google that up and see if that's not true. We got the five great lakes. California, you know, they, they're in a water crisis right now. Pretty soon the whole planet going to be in a water crisis. Not only is Detroit surrounded by five great lakes, Detroit is a port city. So, brothers from uh, other parts of the uh, planet and other parts of the city, I mean other parts of the United States, you need to come and help us out up here in Detroit. But Detroiters, we got to first help ourselves. We got to organize. So work, work on building up block clubs. Work on building up a militia to regulate the streets. And uh, start teaching your sons and daughters how to make clothes and how to can food, store, keep food stored, how to purify water. Uh, how to build houses. We need a, a, a solar panel factory. Put them in one of these old empty commercial buildings. So you know, y'all gonna let the white boy do it first though. Some of you dope boys, you know, if y'all wanna be useful Stop building so solar panels. So you got to be ahead of the game, man, if y'all really want to be relevant. But until <clears throat> brothers step up the plate, up to the plate, <clears throat> don't throw no pictures. <laughs> don't donate to nobody but yourself. Keep your money in your pocket. Then you're on the on the uh, beginnings of uh, fighting back. This is black light.